Hi and welcome to a quick little tutorial on um, how the augmentations work. I've, I've had a, a bit of an issue trying to figure this out in the beginning and I honestly didn't see very good explanations on how they work. So here's my take on so first of all, let's go and look at building stuff. So I'm not going to get into the augmentations right away. Go look at the basic tables. Now, as you can see, you've got all your basic crafting stuff in these two. I wish they was together, but anyway, it makes no sense to separate them. But at the bottom here, you'll see a little icon. It says cooking, fire enchant bullet enchant tailor simple tanning station but it's got hunting this one doesn't have anything and that one has a little tool icon masonry agriculture woodworking blacksmith well lit simple spinning wheel so this this one gives well lit that's what that means it makes uh, it, it'll give you the well lit um, augmentation basically but if you click on one of these it tells you at the, at the bottom here it's got four augmentation slots these are the valid augmentations so anything that's got well lit uh, magic hunting fishing fermentation cooking butcher and boil anything with those augmentation qualities will augment this fire and then it gives warmth it gives well lit warms warms well lit well lit okay so now we go over to augmentations and you'll see they have the same icons construction bellows ocean military crude beehive what? agriculture fishing magic woodworking science retired uh, victorian dandy really astronomy tailor minor hunting woodworking construction zerker explorer gardening assassin plantation cooking cowboy if we click on one of these let's just go basic saws for the basic saws that's what it costs to build on the bottom here it tells you it's going to add new recipes to the following station it's going to add new recipes to the tools to the tailor and to the enchantment table but now the catch is if these are still locked it means you haven't picked up the recipe you still have to go do every single puzzle in every single realm to pick up these recipes it might add this recipe to the table but if you don't have the actual recipe from a puzzle you will still not be able to build it now that part nobody explains to you um, some of them do give recipes that you don't need to unlock but not very many of them. I think there was a one with charms. Let's see. Now these ones with the red. Uh, these ones with the red. I've actually picked up those recipes, so that's why it's not unlocked. Mm. That one is picked up this one no anyway there's there's one that that gives you charm recipes i think it was the macabre rack no it was not formula nope oh good heavens anyway one of them did give me a bunch of charms 
that I didn't need to unlock. Or maybe I had the recipes, who knows. But yeah, short and sweet, that is how they work. You will find what whatever it will enhance down here. But you still need to go do all the puzzles in every realm to unlock these recipes. And that is how that works. And of course the refined tables you will get uh, when you do the quests. So it is important to, to, to do the quest in order. I just, I've got a extra quest from Frankenstein. But um, Puck's quests will give you whatever comes next and will open the next level of gear, tools, etc. Yeah, I hope that helps you if you are struggling to figure out how the augmentations and the tables work. That, that is short and, and, and sweet answer. And thank you for watching. If you like my content, consider subscribing. It really does help me. And uh, don't forget to, to lick that like button. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.